All right, y'all, I just want to say I absolutely positive and love you. Today is a beautiful day. Is that right? Yeah. It's a beautiful day to be alive and make an impact. Because we're not here just to eat collard greens. What we're here to do is to make impact. And the community that this collard green fest was in, I want to thank Dr. DeMontu for thinking about bringing it here because you had to drive through this neighborhood. And when you drove through this neighborhood, you know good and well, and I mean good and well, that this neighborhood should not look like this. This is an African-American community that we should embrace. We should come over. I ain't talking about coming over and buying some houses so you can be an a absentee landlord. I'm telling you to come over, purchase this property, and live in it, and bring this community back because this is the closest neighborhood to downtown Atlanta. There's no reason for everybody except us not to want this property. Now, everybody wants English Avenue, Vine City, and all these inner city communities, but black middle class folks and black folks, yep. all right? So I'm asking you to come to English Avenue. I am officially asking you to invest in English Avenue, not as an absentee landlord. We got a million of them. What we need is some, some professional folks like yourself to move into English Avenue so we can organize and take control of our community and go ahead and build this building. All right, is that right? Yeah. Well, this is a building here that's 102 years old. So it has stood the test of time waiting on us to come back home to embrace it so we can have an anchor economic development project in the English Avenue, Vine City area. Oh, y'all listen to me or what? Okay, y'all listen to me or what? All right? So what I'm telling you is your politics is already in place. Use my name. It's the, it's the password. Ain't nobody gonna do nothing that y'all trying to do good if we say we work with Abel Mabel because we've been here through the hard times. And what I'm trying to tell you is a revival is coming. Because they're trying to build what? The retractable roof stadium, at least one billion. They're trying to build a park called Mim Park, 55 million. They're trying to do the multimodal. Y'all went over to this area, they talked about the multimodal passenger terminal. More billions, more billions, more billions. The multimodal passenger terminal is sort of like, like a Grand Central Station situation where you have, you have retail some housing maybe, but you'll not just have transportation going back and forth in Atlanta, it'll be transportation maybe going from Atlanta to North Carolina to Charlotte. So this is big development projects all in this district here, which is happened to be the area that the Lord sent me back in, 56. Are y'all listening to me? So if they're building all of this development in the area closest to downtown, then you got to know that this is valuable property. We have what they call in business location, location, location. But what we don't have is people like you, people like you to occupy these houses, all right? So that we can be a strong community and we can be the richest community in the city. Oh, y'all don't hear me, okay? So the bottom line is everybody is on a B train to get here. And so I'm glad that y'all finally got here. All right? So I'm here to tell you that the Collard Green Festival was a beautiful way to drive people into our community so they can see what's going on. But it ain't just about how beautiful the three acre lot is, because this is three acres. All the way around is three acres. We take this entire block. But wouldn't it be good that we could have the beautiful acreage and have the 50,000 square feet building in place too, right? Come on, y'all. This is a 50,000 square feet building. That means we can put performing arts, retail, um, 
job training. You know, we can do all kinds of senior services, youth services, gardens. But Mama Dirtette, she can have just going over here and hook this thing right on up. And the brother right there, I forgot his name, he know gardening too. What, what would it be like? Look at all these little kids coming out of that uh, that's, uh, sustainability area, learning about things about how to grow. The person who controls what you eat is the person who controls you. Because at the end of the day, even though how much conscious you are, you got to eat. All right? So now you got young people learning about growing in pots. So you don't have to have a big lot. You can grow in pots. You see these young people? I'm here to tell you it's about our future. Our young people are 25. We need a photographer. The young people are 25% of the population, but 100% of our future. I'm asking y'all to help me build this building. I love y'all, and the way we can build this building, we gotta put our money where our mouth is. Now, don't get me wrong. I see y'all buy things all day long, but I'm asking for a special appeal right now for everybody on the side of my voice to make a donation to Greater Vine City Opportunity Program, the 501c3, you can get credit for it, uh, we selling these hats, that's one thing. We sell these hats for $10, that's one thing. But if you don't want to buy a hat, some of you did buy Obama posters, but you can just give us a donation right now. Uh, and so let me just say, uh, who on the ground? Can you do this? I'm gonna just use my hat, I'm gonna put something in. I know y'all don't spend money, but as they say, put something in the hat, y'all. We gotta do something. Do this for me, I know this ain't your job, you gonna watch this thing, but let's put something in this hat, y'all, so we can come out ahead and not behind, all right? Now, what else I wanna say? Um, now, I'm gonna tell you this, we do have some political agreement on this project. The city council guy, Ira Young, said that he wanted to do something to help us. I, was, I wasn't even in the meeting with the mayor, and the mayor said that he also was interested in doing this. But he or she who does not have his own thing to, to contribute to what government is doing, is totally dependent on government. We do not want to be totally dependent on government. We want to have some economic dollars that came from us, as well as economic dollars that came from business investors as well. So the hat is coming through, and if you got a check, it's greater, a GVCOP, Greater Vine City Opportunities Program. We thank you for supporting us. We thank you, uh, Ms. Pam, for being such a great MC. Let's give it here for MC. Miss P, it's called Miss P Production. Both of us went to English Avenue School. This is not just a building I found, y'all. I went to elementary school here. We went all the way through high school together, and the Lord put us together to bring this thing online. Somebody of the community, right? And I still live in the same house I was born and raised in. Y'all don't hear me. So when you see all this stuff in the neighborhood looking crazy, some of y'all say, Woo, what in the world? I don't know nothing like this. I grew up in a neighborhood that, sh that people lived in the houses. Okay? Not squatting in the house, but they lived in the house. I grew up in a situation if something was, nobody was really homeless because you stayed with a relative or you stayed with somebody in the neighborhood because that's what time was. I'm here to tell you, you see I'm not taking it yet because I know somebody else got some more money. I ain't taking it yet. I can feel it. I can feel the money still out there. That's why I'm keeping talking for a minute. I'm just telling y'all, all this raggedy stuff y'all see, I don't know nothing like this. So don't think our neighborhood always looked like this. This neighborhood was a strong, vibrant neighborhood with businesses that you could walk to. You had a, you had shoe shop, you had florists, pharmacists. You, had, you owned a neighborhood business in your community. And I'm telling you that we can do an experiment. And the experiment is take back English Avenue for the people of English Avenue with new people connected to English Avenue who have been on the grounds of English Avenue, who feel the vibration of English Avenue and know that we are not the bluff. Oh, y'all don't hear me? They call this area the bluff. This is not the bluff. Anything that can make you think a negative vibration on something, they try to call it. I'm here to tell you just was three little blocks in English Avenue used to be called the bluff. And now they try to call the whole neighborhood the bluff. I'm here to tell you is that great people came out of English Avenue, whether it was Marvin Harrington, uh, Gl uh, Gladys Knight, okay, uh, um, who is this, uh, the guy named Odom, the guy who's the musician in Atlanta, attorneys, all kind of professional people, and we've been trying to get them to come back. 
to invest in it. And we get on Gladys Knight to come in to invest in it. So just know, Gladys Knight lived on James P. Brawley, which in those days was Chestnut Street. Oh, y'all don't hear me. I'm gonna tell you, I'm not gonna talk no more, but I will say thank you again for all those members of the Collar Green Festival who took the time to have the vision to bring it to this neighborhood. But I challenge you, I can get you a house in this neighborhood under $25,000. And if you put another $25,000 on, you will be looking good and you, we will stabilize this community. I love you. I'm Abel Mabel Thomas. I'm executive director, but really, I'm founder of the group that owns this building, a, a small community development organization owns this building. Not nobody but us. So let's not let them take it from us. Let us do something with it and make impact because that's who we are. We are people of valor but we are also people of impact. I love you and power to the people. Let's say it, power to the people. 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 Power to you. I love you. Thank you.